the uh, attack or the defensive third. Very good opportunity here for uh, St. John's in the circle. Hey, but, uh, some good defending by Beilu. St. John's, no more! Loud blast on the whistle by uh, Dylan Webster, the umpire, just settling things down a little bit. Where you are, three. <coughs> Some good work there by Cameron Fullerton getting uh, himself <laughs> out of trouble there in midfield. Interception there by uh, Marvin Simmons again. Number 11. From Beilu. 11 for John, you need to relax. <coughs> you relax. Good steal and a really good finish there by uh, Aidan Tun from Beilu College to give Beilu uh, the lead 1-0 in the second semi-final here of the Aiken Trophy. Start. Make sure we have fun! Another good attack by uh, Bailu College, but some very good defending by St. John's. Right, Murray Dipnow in the thick of things there, the St. John's captain. Off him, off him. Good pick up of the overhead hey, 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 hey. by Nicholas Halstead Teague for St. John's College and a circle entry for none St. John's. That. Shush, bad sportsmanship. No, none of that. Good counter attack here from Connor Easthazen after making the tackle. Winning a free hit just outside the 25 for St. John's. St. John's need to get a couple of more numbers in the circle there to try and be more effective.
That's fine, let's go. Set. Some good defending by St. John's College in the middle of their circle. Still under pressure though from Bailu. And a really good second goal by Bailu College. <coughs> goal scorer there for Bailu Sanele. Matrunu. <coughs> For those viewers that have just joined, you are busy watching the second semi final of the 2019 Aiken Trophy. Bailu College in uh, green against St. John's College in the white. Javier, please. Thank you, Murray. Naughty tackle there by uh, Cody Estazen well done, guys. and uh, yeah, getting a green card for that. That means they'll have uh, two minutes in the. Uh, the whole game's been nine minutes, Murray. <coughs> He's, you guys made a terrible tackle. The card, tough. Make a better tackle. <coughs> St. John's College will look to just uh, keep control of the ball for the next couple of minutes while they are man down. Baloo, on the other hand, will be looking to try and uh, take advantage of the man-up situation. Sorry about that. Walk to the thick here. <coughs> Light, no, he slipped. And that brings us. St. John's green card uh, to an end, back to a uh, full quota of numbers on the field. Did really well to uh, go through those two minutes without conceding another goal. Blue, number four Blue, please move. Happy with the mark there. Thank you, it's over. <coughs> Come on boys, let's go, when you're ready.
Tackle's good. Some really good defending there by uh, Murray Dipna from St. John's. And a uh, bit of a careless tackle on the St. John's captain. Brings a green card for uh, Bailu. St. John's now have a man up for the next two minutes. They'll look to capitalize on that. Good phase of play there for St. John's. Unfortunately, just uh, losing out in the entry into the circle. And at the close of the first chaka, a very exciting uh, chaka indeed. Bailu lead uh, two goals to nil. We look forward to uh, the start of the next chaka in the next two minutes. One minute, guys. Yeah, no, it's nice because that card now. Yeah, if they're not ready, but we've got to wait for the two minutes to be finished before we can do that. The start of the uh, second chaka in the second semi-final of the Aiken Trophy. Uh, St. John's versus Bailu. Bailu are up 2-0 at the moment. They do have a player down starting the chaka for the next minute. So St. John's will be a man up. For those of you that are just joining, Bailu are playing in uh, the green and blue from left to right on your screen. With St. John's uh, playing in white. Going into this chakras, St. John's will look to just try and keep the ball a little bit more. 
and uh, maintain position, whereas uh, Bailu will look to keep on uh, turning the ball over and using their uh, very quick forwards on a counter-attack. Bailu back to their full quota of numbers with the green card uh, over. I think you should be. Yeah, it's fine there. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> no. Okay, that's fine. Yep. Good attack here from St. John's, looking to try and win a penalty corner. Some really good defense uh, by Bailu College. Quick counter attack by uh, Bailu through Marvin Simmons and uh, Sanelli Mashan. And they win a penalty corner. Inside. It's inside. Murray, it's inside. Defend the penalty corner. First penalty corner of the game. Yeah, whistle. Well taken penalty corner What's up, and uh, very good save by St. John's goalkeeper Gordon Fleming. Play! St. John's College looking to uh, stretch the field to find a pass exactly like that into the circle and a really good shot and opportunity by Keegan Leon Cachet for St. John's. Move your five, move! Good save by uh, Bailey guys, goalkeeper Oberlin Modisi. Boys on his hand, guys! No. Some good work by uh, St. John's 60 College boys. on attack. Earning a circle entry, they need to try and get some more reward there it's from 16. those. It's a 16. But equally good defence by uh, Bailu College. A great tackle there by uh, Bailu number 10, Aiden Tun. It gives him a five minute uh, yellow card, which means that uh, St. John's will be playing with a man up for the next five minutes. Really important time of the game for St. John's to try and capitalize on this. That was good. With the extra man up, they need to start looking to see if they can try and Second find that good. man and create a 2v1 in the attacking third and Sorry into the circle. Judge. Play! Play! 
You ran into him. No, you were good. You ran into him. Sounds good. Thank you. You should be telling you're a player. Um, playing field has been leveled with a uh, yellow card to uh, Keegan Leon Cachet from St. John's. Both teams now down to uh, 10 players. For the next uh, five minutes, St. John's will also be a man down. Will you in line with me, St. John's? Very good pick up there by uh, Keenan right. Wax on the right wing, earning a circle entry and a penalty stroke for Baylou College. Tackle on the stick, it's a stroke. Oh, God. Breakdown tackle inside the circle, stroke. Don't make a silly tackle like you hit the guy halfway up the stick, he's got the ball. The umpire Peter Calder obviously uh, judging that to uh, be a definite goal scoring opportunity and that's why he's awarded the penalty stroke. Okay, we need to start with both feet behind the line of the ball, please. Okay, guys, wait for our whistle. For Waz Kadar stepping up to take it. Your foot behind the line, please. Behind. Something's got to be behind. No, on the line's fine. Just all he's fine. Keeper, striker. And a great save by uh, Gordon Fleming. Score remains at 2-0 uh, with uh, six minutes to play in the uh, second chaka. Okay, control your team. For those viewers just joining us, this is the second semi-final of the Aiken Trophy for 2019. We have St. John's College in white against Baylou College in the uh, green and blue. They got it. Some good play by Marvin Simmons on the uh, right wing, looking to set up an attack for Baylou College. Still, still in. And some very good defending by uh, St. John's captain Murray Dipner. Counter-attack opportunity here from uh, St. John's good. College. Some good reverse pressing by Baylou. Inside! Inside! Nothing silly. Five minutes, kids. By Lewis College's yellow card has just uh, rejoined the game to bring them back to uh, full numbers. And uh, with that, a penalty corner. By Lewis second penalty corner of the game. Okay, whistle as always, eh?
Early break there by St. John's College, so they'll defend this with uh, three players and the goalkeeper. Good little variation there by uh, Marvin Simmons, and once again, another great save by uh, Gordon Fleming. St. John's College's yellow card is uh, now over, so they're back to full Outside. numbers of 11. On the line, just one step back please, thank you, that's fine. Good, thank you, stay, thank you. that's fine, yep, all good, let's play. All, all good? <laughs> leave it, leave it, leave it. Hey, 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 hey. Keep going, thank you. Green card there for uh, Baloo College. So they'll uh, play out most of the dying moments of this half with uh, 10 players. St. John's College will look to uh, capitalize that and uh, try and go into half time with uh, a goal or two goals to their credit. Baylou will look to just uh, tighten up for the last two minutes and make sure they don't concede anything while they've got a player off. Play, you got it. <coughs> With a man down, St. John's College might look to uh, get an extra player in the circle for the next couple of minutes. You've got the free hit. On the sideline, please stop the ball, stop eh? it on the sideline. Keep you just need to be careful of your projection. We don't know if you're having to go to your player or the umpire. And you don't need to figure that out, eh? Just be careful. <laughs> Some really good defending by uh, Keenan no, Wax. No, no, bring him back. Deep in the uh, Baylou defensive third. back to full numbers. <laughs> and that is uh, half time in the uh, second semi-final here at the Aiken Trophy in Randburg with uh, Bailu against uh, St. John's College. Bailu 2-0 up. Uh, quite an exciting first half, and I'm sure the second half will be just as entertaining. Uh, two goals in it is uh, not a lot, and it's no means the end of the game. So we'll see what uh, the coaches have to say at half time, and uh, how the teams come out in the start of the second half.
So we're back live at the uh, second semi-final at uh, Randberg Astro Turf. Uh, St. John's College versus Beilu. Beilu currently ahead 2-0. Um, for those of you that have just joined us, Beilu in uh, blue and green, St. John's College in white. be interesting to see if there's any uh, change of tactics from uh, the two coaches at the start of this half. Obviously St. John's chasing the game a little bit now to try and get uh, two goals back. And uh, obviously Beilu will look to uh, seal the game. Two very astute coaches in uh, Alistair Fredericks for Beilu and uh, Andy Aldridge for uh, St. John's College, so I'm sure they'll uh, have some plans up their sleeve for this, uh, yeah, this half. Stick tackle first. <coughs> that was a waste of skill. Keep it right on it. What a thing here. Bailu on the early ascendancy in the start of the half. St. John's will look to just uh, calm it down. Still 30 minutes of hockey to play. Your player missed it, they missed it. If you can't stop the ball, it's dangerous here. Free hit. <coughs> Thank you, stop. Good circle entry by Bailu and a good save again by St. John's goalkeeper. Gordon Fleming, but Bailu still on the attack. Looking for a penalty corner. Hit his foot, definitely hit his foot. The penalty corner won by uh, Keenan Wax. Belu's third penalty corner of the game. Seconds, Belu. Johnson, are you ready? Very well executed penalty corner with a deflection on the far post there or on the near post by Fawaz Kadar. Uh, Takes the score to 3 uh, 0 for Bailu. That's just the start that Bailu would be looking for in the first couple of minutes of the half. St. John's will need to come back hard now. Another penalty corner earned by uh, Marvin Simmons for Bailu College. Time, time, time. You need to wait about this. No, you were good. He fell over because of that first tackle. Do you want a medic? Do you want a medic? Do you want a medic? Yes. No, no, no. no. He got over because he tripped into him. So from tackle short corner. Injury there for uh, right, Marvin Simmons from Bailu. No, he can't come on until after the corner. Only a goalkeeper can swap. Okay. Fourth penalty corner here for Bailu College. Long! Cheers, thank you. <coughs> Both sides, five, please! 
Make sure the f you move. Play. It's good. Play. They're looking to apply more pressure and they've just won themselves a, another penalty corner. Twenty five seconds, gents. Long. Very good first wave running there by uh, Connor Eerstazen. Just wait guys, time stop, time to stop. Long corner for Bellu. St. John's player not five uh, meters away from the ball there, the free hit. Um, I don't know, I gives Bailu a another penalty not corner. Yeah. So, uh, no idea. That's his side. St. John's just need to gather a bit of composure here and get the ball out of their uh, defensive third. Bailu applying a lot of pressure. Let's go, boys. Stage. Ten seconds. Let's go. Right, come, come, boys. Penalty corner there. number six for Bellu. Get your foot out so we don't Not a pure trap on the top of the circle. There's some good uh, first wave running by Connor Estazen. Allows uh, St. John's to uh, get the ball out of the circle. Very good tackle by uh, Murray Dipner. Now he looks to get the ball moving again for St. John's. Good to see uh, Marvin Simmons back on the field after the injury a little earlier when he limped off. Outside. Good clearance there by uh, Bailu goalkeeper. Oh, St. John's College now applying the pressure on the Bailu circle, looking to try and get some reward. Sadly giving away a free hit. Okay, let's speed this up, guys. We're not wasting time. Play. 
Back stick there, no body from the foot. Okay, thank you, sorry, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, wait. When you're ready, thank you. Thank you. With just under six minutes to go in the, the third chakra, St. John's are looking to stretch the field to try and uh, go in search of that goal that they need to try and get back into this semi-final. Good attack okay, into the circle the by uh, Connie circle. Hestazen and a very good tackle by Fawaz Kadir okay, at the top of the there. circle. Drop, 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 drop. Keep going, thank you. Stick. Quick Tuck counter attack by uh, Bailu. Some really good counter cover by uh, St. John's College. Very good opportunity for uh, St. John's College, just not making a connection in the end. Okay, they keep it? Yeah. For those viewers just uh, joining us, we at the Randberg Astro Turf for the second semi final in the Aiken Trophy, Bailu College against uh, St. John's College. The score currently is 3-0 uh, to uh, Bailu College. Are we in the third trucker? Penalty corner won by St. John's. Their first penalty corner of the <coughs> match this evening. Very important time of the game with uh, just under three minutes left in the third chakra. St. John's would love to get one goal back in uh, this penalty corner. Okay, guys. On the whistle, please. Bailu obviously would like to keep a clean sheet going into the uh, last chakra. Well executed penalty corner by St. John's. Good save by uh, Bailu goalkeeper, Obakeng Ndisi. But another penalty corner awarded to St. John's. Okay, let's John's. go please, St. John's, it's a re-award. Let's go, St. John's. Good uh, first wave running and defending Run by Value College, keeping St. John's out from that penalty corner, but St. John's still have the ball with a long corner. It's got to go yellow. Wait, wait, wait. He's allowed, to, he's allowed to speak. If there's an issue, I'll deal with it, okay? A five minute yellow card for uh, Aiden Tun, which means that uh, St. John's College will be a uh, man up going into the start of uh, the fourth chakra.
Stay out, stay out, stay out. Thank you. Good server over there by uh, Sanelli Mashanu. No, you got it. One is over. Equally, equally good turnover by uh, St. John's. Three Capello Macaniani. Stay play. That's the end of uh, Chaka 3, Bailu scoring one uh, goal in that Chaka to make it 3-0. And uh, we're in for an exciting uh, final quarter of the semi-final in the Aiken Trophy. St. John's need uh, three goals to uh, draw level and send the game to shootout. Bailu need to just uh, continue with a clean sheet and uh, they'll join Jeppe in the final. Fifteen minutes to go in uh, the second semi-final of the Aiken Trophy. Uh, St. John's versus Bailu. Bailu currently 3-0 uh, up. The winner of this game will uh, play against Jeppe High School for Boys in the final tomorrow. For those of you just joining, uh, Bailu College in the uh, blue and green and St. John's College in the all-white. Good start to this uh, final chucker for Bailu College, earning a uh, penalty stroke. Uh, Bailu, the ball's over there. Remembering also that uh, Bailu College are a player I'm down at the moment with the player in the Sinbin with a yellow card. <coughs> right, keeper, are you ready? Striker. Relax, relax, come. A goal there for uh, Keenan Wax on the penalty stroke to take the time score to 4-0. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Speak to your captain. He can While speak that's to happening, right. we have an injury to uh, that's your problem. St. John's. I didn't know you went at the toss, so how am I supposed to know? Yeah, when he threw the overhead, he slipped. Yeah, but also, time has stopped for a stroke, so they could have dealt with that yeah, better. Yeah. yeah, and it was out of the place, so I couldn't stop time. Pete, I agree. Good to see Murray walking off the field, and uh, hopefully it's not too serious, and we'll see him back uh, pretty soon. Yeah. Just wait, guys. We've got to wait for him to get off. We've got to wait for him to get off. Well, you're fine there.
Good entry into the attacking third by uh, St. John's College. Earning themselves a penalty corner. This is their third penalty corner of the game. And uh, they would really want to get an outcome from this penalty corner. Okay, let's go, St. John's, please. Silly tackles. Executed the uh, corner and flicked by Connie Estazen, but uh, Obakeng Modisi up to it in goals for uh, Bailu College. Card from uh, Bailu is uh, over, so they're back to full numbers. Got 11 versus 11 again on the field. Play! Some enterprising stuff on the top of the circle Take by uh, no Marvin Simmons. Looking for a penalty back corner, here, not getting anything. Two umpires just uh, loud blasts and a whistle, calming things down a bit. Let's go, please. Eighteen, where he is, please. No, if he gets it wrong, we'll do something about it. Got the ball. Move, Jet. Move, Sir John's. Just outside, no bondage. Please pick your stick up. Bailu College move is forward, the move forward, both sides, uh, move. St. John's College looking to earn a penalty corner. But some uh, very good defensive work by the St. John's College boys. Of course he is. Move, now? boys, move, Sir Johns. Okay, cool, thank you. Leave it! Boys, well, this time off, defenders, okay, come closer, please. change for Bailey Sir Johns, College. move, move. <laughs> Stay out! Another penalty corner for uh, Bailu College. St. John's defenders are not being five meters away from the receiver of the overhead. Probably deemed as a deliberate breakdown by umpire. 20 seconds. Dylan Webster. Yeah. If, he's, if, if, if you were standing there and I was standing seconds there and to you and I stayed here, fine. The issue is your player ran in to the five. Oh, okay. okay. 
Jordi is over. Variation on the penalty corner. Tackle's good. From Bellu. Once again, some good defending by uh, St. John's College first wave runner, Connor Easton. Good counter attack by St. John's after that penalty corner. Puts them Long deep corner. in the. Long corner. boys. St. John uh, in the Bellu half and earning a long corner. St. John's need to get uh, a couple more players in the circle if they are uh, looking to try and capitalize on the possession that they've got. Stick first, stick first. Some good work by Marvin Simmons going into the uh, St. John's circle. St. John's defenders maybe need to just uh, defend outside the circle. And another penalty corner for Baylou College. 20 seconds. <coughs> Nine <coughs> seconds. Let's go, Baylou. You're going backwards. And uh, goal for Value College. The goal scorer was uh, Marvin Simmons. Boys, it was dangerous. stroke or goal, hey? That takes the State score to uh, no. five no. for Value. We're talking from miles away. Again, Marvin Simmons in the thick of things, showing some uh, good ball handling skills. Keep moving, keep moving it, keep moving it. Both sides five, please drop, please drop. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Not five. Boys, over here. Yeah, it's fine. You can play. St. John's still looking to uh, keep the game going and play quickly. <coughs> Drop. Good. <laughs> Let's play, boys. It's not involved. St. John's looking to uh, counter attack. Body contact. Breakdown uh, from Bailu. And a yellow card for. Uh, Bailu. That means that um, Bailu will end the game with uh, on, 10 players on the field. Want a medic? Hey? And time has been Do stopped for uh, injury to okay, cool. so Bailu player in the corner. Medic! Hey. Right, can you do me a favor? Can you just roll off? If you don't mind, eh? Come on. I know. 
Can you get okay, big, can you? This off, eh? Sorry, Jed, just waiting them to get off. And unfortunate to see uh, Aiden Tan leaving the field with an injury. <laughs> and hopefully, uh, Boys, are you ready? Aiden will be back to finish off the game. Um, Alistair Fredericks, the coach, might uh, keep him on the sideline to rest before tomorrow's game. Good attacking opportunity here for St. John's College. And a uh, nice goal for St. John's. Goal there from St. John's College, scored by Andrew Rainey. Foot just inside. Both sides fight, please. <laughs> After that goal, Balu College straight back onto the attack. Keep Looking to try and earn a penalty Good. corner. Once again, it's Marvin Simmons Both sides uh, fight, please, sorry. trying to get a He's penalty corner field. out of that. He's off the field. Looks like we have another player down. I think these are all uh, cramp injuries rather than uh, injuries by a stick or a ball. Um, the guys probably not uh, rehydrating themselves well enough during the course of the day. It's been a long day for these uh, youngsters. They played three games yesterday and uh, another two games today. It's five games in the space of two days. So when he's off, you can just come on. He must just stay off then. Because he's injured, so it's not right. like you're substituting him. Can we replacing. get you off, please, Cabela? Because you've got to go for two minutes anyway, huh? With the medic one. Yeah. So just off, yeah? Come on, please. Come on. No, you can come on. Right. <coughs> Play! Another foray into the uh, attacking circle for St. John's College, looking to try and get some reward. Uh, ball going over the baseline. Yellow card for uh, St. John's College. Cameron Fullington, the, the man ending the game in the sin bin. 14 seconds remaining on the clock. That'll be the last play for, for him. And Bailu College earn a penalty corner on the stroke of full time. The uh, penalty corner will be played out. Uh, you'll have to ask him, hey, so he had the angle. No. Even though the final hooter has gone, we still play out the penalty corner. He asked us every game, eh? <coughs> no. If he took him out, it was dangerous, eh? 
I don't think he slipped. He did it out of the umpire. Yeah, exactly. So, you, and you're asking me. Balu now have the opportunity to bring uh, all their players up yeah, to yeah, the picky, top picky, of the picky, circle. Picky, picky. Time's off. Wait, there was a play. Good penalty corner variation and a good save by uh, St. John's College penalty corner defence. That brings an end to the uh, second semi-final here at randburg Turf. Baylou College running out winners 5-1 over St. John's College. That means that uh, tomorrow Baylou College will be playing in the final against Jeppy High School for Boys. That game taking place at 6 o'clock tomorrow evening at uh, randburg Turf. St. John's College go into uh, the third, fourth playoff against King with the seventh school. That game taking place at uh, 20 to 1 tomorrow. Sorry, I'll just uh, repeat that. JP College versus Baylou College at uh, 10 past 3 tomorrow in the final of the Aitken uh, Trophy with uh, King Edward the Seventh School and St. John's College playing off for third and fourth at uh, 20 to 1.